Hello and welcome. This video is part of a series. Be sure to check out the description of this video for the full playlist. I recommend watching the previous videos. This is video, I think, 15 or so, uh, on using Eureka Doom Editor to create dooms, or levels for dooms, or do levels for dooms, levels or maps for Doom, um, and Doom 2, and a few other games. Uh, today we're going to be looking at, uh, so far we've created a lot of very straight rooms, square rooms, rectangular rooms. Let's work on creating a round room, a circular room. So let's say I wanted to create a sector, a room that was round. I can try to create something like that. Well, that's horribly ugly. Um, and that might be okay if you're making a cave or something because you don't want the walls to be perfectly straight, in which case I probably would have turned off snap. Let's go ahead and undo that. Let's just say, let's take a, an existing sector right here, uh, this first sector here. Uh, I'm going to split my grid uh, with the number six here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add in some extra vertices because right now we only have four. Uh, and you, the smoother circle you want, the more vertices you want. So I'm just going to left click, left click, left click, left click. And I'm just going to put extra vertices all the way around this sector on the grid where there are not any vertices already. Perfect. Now I'm going to go into sector mode and choose that sector. Go back into vertices mode to make sure I have all these vertices selected. But I'm going to unselect the ones from our teleporter. We don't want those right now. And all I have to do is hit shift and the letter O. And it turns what I have selected into a perfect circle. Or at least as close as you can get with that many vertices. Uh, if we go ahead and save and test that with control S, control T, you can see it is now a round room. Perfect. Let's say we wanted to create a pillar in the middle of that room uh, that is circular, because in the past we did something like this, and then we deleted that sector, and that gave us a square pillar in the middle of the room. Let's go ahead, and the same process works. Let's control Z to undo that a little bit. I'll make my grid a little bit smaller, uh, using again the number row and the top there, or of course you can use the drop down here. Uh, and I'm going to go over to C's and I can add them in uh, now or I could have done this when I created this little sector. We'll do both ways. I'll add vertices there. I will select that sector, go V and then just shift O and now we have a round sector which is currently invisible but I can select that sector, hit delete and now if I start the game up, control S, control T, there we go. We have this uh, little pillar there. Now this texture, it doesn't really matter. Let's go ahead and change the texture of that. L for lines, and I will select those. And I'll give it something with a little more detail on it. We'll just do something like this. And although that, that looks pretty neat, that's not what that texture is supposed to look like. Let's see, I'm trying to pick something that looks here, like this with the window. Let's see how this works out. This one may or may not work out depending on the size of my pillar. But again, with those uh, lines selected, I can hit Shift A and it will adjust uh, the texture to line up properly. And right there we got a double window, but it lined it up pretty good. Uh, if I wanted all the windows to be the same size, I'd have to adjust the size of my uh, pillar. But something like this, you know, I can hit Shift uh, A a couple times and if you keep hitting Shift A and it keeps on wibbly wobbling like that, uh, that means it's not lining up perfect. It's going to continuously try. It will never create a perfect texture uh, alignment. But in certain cases like this, I don't see where it's not lining up with this particular texture. You can do something like this. Again, Shift A is going to continuously try. And yeah, I don't even see most textures. You probably won't notice where it's off. This one, maybe. No, that still looks pretty good. But again, before I did that, these textures looked uh, very funky, but Shift A will align them. Just hit it a couple of times if you need to. Uh, so again, let's do that again. But this time I'll just create, again, I'm in vertices mode and I'm hitting space bar to add new vertices that are connected with lines. And then with those vertices selected, I'll hit Shift O, the letter O. S to choose that. Well, I don't have to delete it if I want maybe a table there. I have sector selected. Let's go into our 3D preview here. I'll just hit uh, the period a couple times. Bring this down. Uh, again, I can adjust my wall textures if I want that particular texture. It looks okay. 
but if I wanted to, I can go into line mode and choose something like this. This 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 might look a little yeah. So those boxes, if I hit Shift A now, it's going to align that. Although that's a weird texture to have on a round room since it's like a box texture, but there you go, it lines it up for you. And again, in sector mode, I can choose a different um, ceiling and ground texture for that little round room there. And again, I turned a uh, square room into a round room, but you can also do that. Uh, I'll even go into free mode here and just start, oops, V for vertices mode. And then I hit Shift O once I connect all those and it will make a round room for me. So just undo that, I don't need that room, that sector. And um, let's say I did something like this. Let's go ahead and select all of these. With things, I can also shift O or not. I thought Shift-O would align those up in a circular pattern. I was wrong about that. Ignore the last 10 seconds of this tutorial. Uh, so that's creating round rooms, but let's talk about um, creating staircases that are curved, not necessarily fully round. So I could, let's expand this room over here a little bit. I'll just move this wall up. Let's uh, turn Snap to Grid back on by hitting F. Now let's make this room a little bigger, like so. So I could create something like this if I wanted. I can hit Shift O and then inside there I can add some more vertices. and then hit shift O. Now these two circles have different number of faces, but that's okay for what we're doing. If I move my 3D view into here, I can now make a little, you know, stairwell going down, kind of like an amphitheater type thing. But let's say I just want a curve, not a full circle. Let's go ahead and work on that next. So I will move this room down here and make this room a little larger. What we're going to do is we're going to want to get a rough idea of what we want our curved stairway to look like. Or it doesn't have to be a stairway, uh, it could just be a curved wall. We don't want a full circle wall, we want a curved wall, but the same thing applies if you're making a stairway, you just make different sectors for the different stairs. But just to uh, not make this video go too long, we'll just create a wall here. I'm going to go free mode here. And I'm going to try to do the same number of vertices on the top as I did the bottom and just eyeball a little curved wall. And obviously that looks horrible. But what I can do now is I can now select some of these, the top half. And instead of hitting uh, Shift O, which would try to make that a circle, I can hit Shift C. And it makes it a 120 degree, I believe, curve is what it does. Oops. Now I'll select the bottom vertices here. And again, I will hit Shift C. And now I have this curve here. I can go into my view here and in sector mode. Make sure I have that sector selected. Period a couple times. And now I have a nicely curved wall. Very nice. Okay. And again, if, if you wanted curved stairs, you would just cut this into, oops, different sectors. Choose all those sectors. Oops. Sometimes sectors get messed up. And that's something I'm going to talk about in the next video. Like right now I have this; these last two sectors just aren't letting me select them. Um, yeah, there's just something not right about that. 
And let me just go ahead and see if I can manually fix this just by deleting these right now. It's probably going to mess things up more. This sector's all types of messed up. So let's just go ahead and choose all of these and delete them. I'm going to talk more about fixing errors like that in a future video. That's not what I'm not talking about now. But that's how you would create stairs if you didn't screw up the sectors like I did, uh, which sometimes happens, and I'm not sure why other times I get why. Uh, but luckily, uh, Eureka Doom Editor has a built-in thing that tries to fix things like that for you. So let's... Uh, end this video here and in the next video we'll talk about fixing errors um yeah thank you for watching please visit filmsbychris.com that's chris with the k there's a link in the description of the video and as always i hope that you have a great day